Hey guys, welcome back. And we're gonna be talking about uh, Uchiura and Izumi to Sea Paradise. Let's start with some car decals. So we kind of saw the Roselia one from the end of last time. And uh, here we have like some Ruby. I'm not sure if those are glued on, like the Nessos. I think they were just like put their pose. But yeah, they were some Nessos on, on this person's car. You can see like the, the first years in the back here, and then like a, a Rico car. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the decals, but I think there's a few more. There's like this ruby one, and uh, this was a... Uh, Numazu Hotel, I think. It was some sort of hotel. It wasn't Numazu, but like Uchiuro, I think? Or one of the names. I always mix them up. It's like, he's a Chica car. Very nice. This is like the beach, the iconic beach, where they met, like, Rico and Chica. Rico first uh, met Chica when she dived into the water here. I think this is also um, where, the, like, in the final episode of Sunshine, the flag is, like, planted here. And I'm walking down to uh, Izumiro Sea Paradise. And then this is like a bus stop. Then we finally enter Sea Paradise, and then we're greeted again by one of these uh, pilgrimage stamps. It's like a proto Uchichi. I don't remember the name of the, uh, the gray Uchichi, but it certainly isn't the other one that we know and love. Here is uh, like a commemorative photo um, showcasing that this is where the the PVs were done in Love Life Sunshine. I wanted to go down to the actual aquarium. Uh, this was just a map showing like the layout of the whole place. And uh, if you remember the adventure stroll we had for Izumiro Sea Paradise. We're gonna be featured. Like we're gonna be going through a lot of those uh, places as well. Here's like a comparison chart for seeing how how tall walruses really are compared to uh, other things. So this is like the walrus tank. There's some random gotcha machines. I was wondering if there was like. Love Live related ones, but they don't have any. It's just uh, related to a uh, sea paradise. Some fish. Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh, these are the these are tiny crabs. Or fish. Oh, these are eels, I think. And this was like a, a fishing area where you could like try to fish for these. Um, I don't know what they are, but they're some sort of crustacean. But this is the uh, the jellyfish tank. Very cool uh, being in here because like the colors would always change. Uh, like purple, blue, like orange, red. Just went through like the all the colors of the rainbow pretty much. More fish. Information about those fish. Like a lot of these pictures are just just gonna be like fish, because it is an aquarium, right? Crab. Same crab. Different crab, but probably the same kind of crab. And then we, when we get outside, we see some non-like marine animals. We see like the snowy owl. And these are some otters, I believe. They were sleeping, so they weren't really moving around when I got there. More fish. This area might seem familiar. 
Uh, definitely if you uh, watch the Koini Naritai Aquarium PV, uh, you'll start to recognize this area. This is the Uchichi Cafe. Unfortunately, it was closed when I got there. And this is like the show times for uh, various shows that went on. The last show happened at 3.30. By the time I got there, it was like 4, so it was pretty much over. Yeah, there's Uchichi Cafe. This is outside of Uchichi's like kitchen, but again, couldn't enter because it was already closed. Penguins. And then the fl lone flamingo, if you recall, in the adventure stroll, definitely uh, was a flamingo area too. Names and the genders of all these uh, penguins. Like another area for penguins. Swimming penguins. Oh, this is where they sell soft serve ice cream and they each advertise it as the flavors that Ruby and Hanamaru were eating in like the art for the Blu-ray art. Like this is where they were. They were at Izumiru Sea Paradise and then they had like um, strawberry flavored and mango flavored ice cream. So then once we leave, we get to the gift shop. Some more commemorative photos and uh, like a holder, I think. I'm not really sure. The Love Life Sunshine Girl stands. Um, they were trying to recreate Koini Naritai Aquarium in this like mini uh, fish tank, which is pretty cute. And then here's like the second year versions of what you might recall from when we were at the Sun Sun Sunshine Cafe where they had the third year versions of those like giant uh... I don't even know what to call these but I, I don't know where the first year ones are but considering the Sun Sun Sunshine Cafe had third years and then Izumito had second years I can only assume that the first years are somewhere but I didn't find them in my pilgrimage um, some gotchas. This, these ones were actually Love Live based gotchas. And this is pretty much like the, the gift shop for um, Izumiro Sea Paradise. Not completely filled with Love Live swag, but there was Love Live swag here, so. A picture of a little bit of it, as well as the displays they had. And then this was another one of the uh, stamps you could add to your uh, stamp book. There's like a play area where you could leave your kids, I guess. And then this was a uh, swag based on Izumiro Sea Paradise. A whole bunch of Uchishi stuff. Well, the whole bunch of like uh, plush toys and whatnot. Uchichi related shirts you could buy. Giant Uchichi uh, cushions, animal shirts, and then this is like a ranking of the most popular things that people bought. And these uh, plush toys might seem familiar because these are the plush toys that appear in the art of the uh, SSR cards that were during the adventure stroll that we could get, right? Commemorative coin machine. And then when I left, I got a glimpse of like a taxi. If you recall in the last video, I mentioned taxis that were featured the sunshine girls on them. and. Uh, Alex from KLAP told me a very interesting story is that 
someone actually paid one of these taxis like I don't even know how much money like maybe 300 400 dollars to drive all the way from here to the location of third live just so he could like exit the taxi in front of a whole bunch of people that's one way to certainly show you got money man to drive all the way from like this location to the heart of Wherever it was. Just wow. Some more shots of the taxi that I managed to get. Then I'm just walking back uh, to the bus stop because that was pretty much the end of my day. And then here is uh, the final stop I got a chance to look at, but I didn't really get to look at it a lot. It was just mainly... Um, I could see outside, but they wouldn't let me come inside because I wasn't a guest at the at the Ryokan. But yes, this is the Ryokan that is based off of Chika's home. So then they got a picture of the entrance, and you can also kind of see like the stamp in the area here. As well as some other side pictures, but again, I wasn't really... wasn't able to go inside and take pictures. Uh, I took a step inside just to take a glance around but then they quickly escorted me out because I wasn't part of like I wasn't a hotel guest pretty much yeah this is pretty much it oh well, this is where Rico lives I think because that's next to the Yokan and you can see it's actually physically impossible for them to you know reach if it was based off of like the anime scene where they touched hands on like the second story of of their respective buildings, you can't reach that far. It's impossible. And then uh, I managed to stumble upon this uh, kind of sweets shop uh, before leaving, and they also had one of these stamp. And uh, they were also selling some merchandise. I managed to find this car of like Yoshiko car I was leaving they had a giant Yoshiko Esso in the back seat which is hilarious too but yeah this is the sweet shops I was talking about I think the one before that was like swag shop I'm not really sure I don't really remember but this is a uh, really popular because it was featured in uh, the love live radio um the, the Sharon Posts talked about it a few times, which is why uh, you can see a whole bunch of Sharon related things here. And then another one of these uh, stamps, I think this is the last one I actually find. Um, but the reason I'm here is because I wanted to uh, drink some Mikan juice. And that's what I did, but I did take some pictures prior to that. Uh, they make sweets every day. But they have a limited supply, so by the time I got here, most of the, the, the good stuff was already sold out. So then all I really had was like Mikan juice left. This is just uh, pictures of around the area because it's a sweet shop. They had like a little area where you could uh, sit down and eat if you wanted to. Most people just bought it to go. And then here's a picture of uh, the Mikan juice I had. Mikan's taste quite different from orange juice. Uh, it's a, a bit more like a combination of... Uh, hard to describe. Like, orange juice is very sweet, but Mikan juice is more kind of, has like a sour tang to it. I mean, I like it, but uh, I'm just more used to orange juice, so. Like a store I passed by before getting to the uh, bus stop. It's named uh, Osawaya, I guess. And then there's just like a map of the area, like a hiking course you could do if you're really into hiking. 
Uh, I think this is like a picture of the uh, ticket machine that you, when you enter a bus, you take. Like whenever I get on these Love Live buses, it's uh, always everything is plastered with Love Live related things. Even the announcements um, are done by like the Love Live Sunshine girls. Like the announcements for oh the next stop is something something and you can do whatever here it's just the love live girls talking on these buses instead of like regular announcers it was pretty surreal it was just a bus i got on and then a few final pictures i believe more gotcha at the station I was uh, dropped off at. Another... Okay, this one definitely has to be the final stamp I find. Uh, Choco Crunch. Um, I guess Love Live related snacks. Yeah, and this is a uh, this is what I buy. Like the final thing I buy in Numazu is because uh, when I took the bus, it was from all the way from Uchiura back to Numazu, because that's the only way I could get back to like Tokyo. And then I bought one of these uh, Mikan uh, drinks, like jelly drink. Uh, you cut off the top, or like you bend off the top, and you just kind of suck it. It was pretty good. That was, uh... Yeah, so that will pretty much conclude the series of my trip to Japan. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos. If you go to Japan sometime, maybe you'll be able to experience some of these things yourself. But it was a very fulfilling experience for me. I got to become Love Live and become Love Live Sunshine. I pretty much did like three, four adventure strolls in the span of a few days, but like IRL adventure strolls? Definitely a memorable experience, I won't be forgetting anytime soon. And for the final part of this series, it'll just be me playing uh, all- not All-Stars, I keep saying All-Stars, but it's an arcade game, Little Idol Festival AC. If you're interested in me being really bad at that game, uh, do look out for that video tomorrow. Yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys next time in whatever it is that I do.